you say that toxicity is probably the greatest threat to our overall health. You've done a lot of research. What led you to that conclusion? The research that's out there, the scientific research, is very strong on the, on the issue. The president's report on cancer, which came out a few years ago, which was a bipartisan committee that was re most of the people were appointed by George Bush, some were by President Obama. They came up with the fact that 80 percent, in their opinion, of all cancers are caused by environmental toxicity. When you start reviewing journals like uh, Environmental Working, uh, rather the Environmental Health Perspectives Journal, and you look at the preponderance of studies that come out month after month mm -hmm. on all the different disorders from neurologic, from chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, asthma, it all leads to toxicity. Asthma in particular, when I was a child, I was an asthmatic and we had one other girl in our grade, mm -hmm. two of us. Okay. And today I talked to a school principal who said that 40% of our elementary school students had asthma. This is not some genetic expression that just yeah. occurred. And a lot of genetic expressions occur because of these environmental toxins. Mm -hmm. So the, the evidence is pretty strong. The denials are pretty strong as well from the industry. You know, the American Cancer Society immediately came out after the president's report said, oh, no, no, no. That's, that's just one side of the issue. Well, if we look at the funding of who they get their money from, it becomes very apparent why they would say something like that when major companies that pollute the environment are the ones that fund that society, you have to wonder.